Hello and welcome to JD Bots. In this video, we are going to talk about a new idea, an experimental feature that we are going to implement in our multi cloud chatbot. All right. So, what if I tell you we can use open ai chat gpt for the clu purpose so in our last video we tried to implement the language clu that is conversational language understanding into our chatbot and based on my experience in lewis the model is not always perfect we do get the less score for high level of utterances and we might forget about training with the specific utterances and use all the synonyms in our model so to make our model perfect we can utilize the open ai chat gpt to understand our model and give the intents and entities based on that all right so i'm going to create few intents in clu and then i'll show you how i can ask chat gpt to predict the intent and entities so the first intent that we are going to build in our multi cloud solution is the create resource group so let's follow the naming convention and let me give azure resource group azure resource group dot create so this is the naming convention that i'll follow the first is the name of the provider then what is the service then what is the operation that i want to perform similarly if i want to perform the read operation resource group dot read okay all right so let's put some utterances here help me create resource group okay these are my generic utterances now i'll be adding the entities inside my utterances okay these are some of my sample utterances now i would like to connect them with entities so i'll just hover over this one and sir no entities found yeah on the right hand side i can create an entity 
and my entity name will be let me see uh, if I can create a list entity prebuilt entity or rejects okay for region we can make use of list entity because those are the fixed regions that should be available and machine learn this should be the name of the resource group so let's add it as azure resource group name now i can map this particular entity with my utterance so here is the sample rg that i had created i'll be mapping that with the azure resource group name here is a test that i had created i'll be mapping to this one all right so i have only two utterances having mapped with the resource group name next one for now i'll be just uh, making use of machine learned in order to get the location so let's say azure resource group region uh, let me not make things complex azure resource group region so instead of going with a machine learned entity i'll be going to the list entity because i already have a predefined list of regions that i can make use of okay and i'll be just saving the changes and then i'll click on that entity and create a list and here you see so since this is my list entity i'll be adding a list item and this will be the value that will be set based on the synonyms i provide so azure regions so similar to the lois there we do had an option to upload the list entity but I don't find it here but for now let's uh, hard code few values for the Azure region and then we can come back and update our list okay so let me only add the specific regions for now the value is East US and I'll be adding the synonyms for it and let's use west us as well for now i'm only adding these two list items let's go back to the data labeling and here i'm going to select them and map it to the group region and i sh it should automatically map but let's see okay now let me save my changes all right so we are good with this one let's start a training job and i'll be overwriting my existing model that i had created last time so once this model is trained what we are going to do we are going to export the json for this particular clu model and ask the chat gpt to get me the intents and entities all right our model is trained let's go back to projects and let me select my project and export it remember i haven't deployed my model i just trained it okay so this is my sample json that got created from the inputs that i provided so here you can see i have two intents 
Azure Resource Group Breed and Create. And I have few entities, some list items and its synonyms. And also I have some utterances and I have mapped them. Okay. Let me copy this model. Go back to chat GPT. And here I'll be just creating a prompt for chat GPT. Let's say you are Azure CLU model. in the following JSON. Let's ask JSON. That will be much better for me to parse it inside my code. So all right, so format JSON. This should be an array. And inside my array, I can have multiple entities. All right, so I have just created a sample format JSON. And let me just send CLU model. And I'm going to paste my CLU model. And that is the system message that we have given. Now it's time to give our actual need. And we haven't mentioned uh, the we haven't mentioned the utterance in our system message give me you'll understand the CLU model JSON that is given give me the intents and entities for the utterances I provide utterance so since our model is based on create resource code, let's add some, let's ask something very simple, create RG and let's see. Please provide with me with some sample example utterances so that I can add by the intents and entities. Absolutely great. So it is not able to recognize it. Let me remove this and put it somewhere below that. Okay, so let's see if it able to recognize this one. And also let me So since we have been very specific, let's say it is able to recognize it. Great. Sure, please provide your utterance and I'll be tell you the corresponding intents. Okay. Okay, perfect. Entity is none. That's pretty powerful. But it is not giving me the result in my JSON format, but that is all right. Utterance, create a new resource group in what was is, uh, say, okay, we have to use our own list item. that is not at all promising it is not remembering the state
all right so it is asking me to provide the details again so i was able to make it working using our chat gpt composer bot that i had created last time in one of my videos so here i gave i started a new conversation new and bot greeted me with a welcome message so if you have not seen my previous video then let me tell you if i type new command then it will reset the state and start a new conversation as you might seen in the chat gpt portal so here is the system message that i have given my lewis model is below give me intent and entities for the utterances i'll be providing all right so the prompt is not very specific but yeah initially it gave me all the intents and entities that are part of my model but now if i give in the specific format like utterance create new rg so it gives me with a specific response like what's the intent and if there are any entities then it gives me that right so as of now this response is in natural language but the values are the one that i have provided in my lowest model all right so then what i ask chat gpt to format the response in a json format all right so it did a pretty well job so here a greeting entities nice car none create a resource group in america this particular list item i have not added so that is why there is no entities and create a resource room in east us too and it was able to recognize that and let's see if i what happens if i ask multiple regions create a new resource group in east us and east us let's say west us so this scenario we haven't tested yet but let's see and that's a perfect response that we are looking for you see entities and there we have multiple values all right so at least we know that this is perfectly working fine now we can utilize the chat completions api for our microsoft teams bot in order to consume our clu model right okay so that is all from my side see you in the next video for implementing this solution in our microsoft bot framework teams bot for our multi cloud chat bot if you're not aware about the membership program that i have started so you can visit my channel and thank you everyone for your support you can join our channel for some advanced benefits so currently we have three levels so one of the level is priority reply to comments so if you are looking for source code then you can go with the level 2 right so you will be provided with all the source code that we have uh, in our that we have discussed in our youtube channel yeah based on certain conditions of course and yeah so that is all so if you are interested you can sign up thanks everyone